Welcome back to CS201 Walkthroughs. My name is Lukash, and today we're going to be getting acquainted with Dr. Racket. So all I've done here is I opened Dr. Racket. It opened a blank file for me with this pound laying racket at the top. Um, something important that we're going to discuss today is the difference between up here, which we call the definitions, and down here, which we call the terminal or the REPL. The key difference is that code I write in the definitions, I'll write an example of some code, I'll say but define oh boy, define function 1 to return the number 1 oops, missing a parenthesis when I run this code is executed. I can show you because when I run function 1 in the terminal the REPL, one is returned. Code that I type in the REPL, like if I define function 2 down here to return 2, I can press enter. Right now, that, that, uh, that code was run, so I can call function 2. But when I click run up here, function 2 no longer exists. Code that I write in the terminal or the REPL is not conserved when I click run. In fact, what run does is it runs code that is written in the definitions. I can show you, I can write some function calls in my definitions. I can write something like function one. And now when I click run, not only will it define function one, it'll also execute function one, and the output will be in the terminal or the REPL. So that's the key difference is that code up here, call it the definitions, is saved when I click run and it is run when I click run. Code that I write in the terminal, no matter what I write, it doesn't matter after I click run. It's all erased. Okay. So when we want to save a file in Dr. Racket, we go to file, and we click save definitions or save definitions as. So it only saves this part up here. And this is kind of a good place to experiment or kind of play around. Say I forgot what the function list does, or you know I want to give it some test inputs and see what it outputs. Okay, this is what list does. Or you know maybe I want to test, you know does um, does the addition function need to take integers? So I'll pass it a non-integer here in 4.2. Okay, it works with non-integers. I can test functions and how they work down here, <clears throat> but any code I want to keep will be up here. So when I'm doing my homework, for example, homework zero, I'll go to assignments, go to homework zero. This is going to be in the definitions. I'll copy paste it. It's important that we keep that pound laying racket at the top. So after I copy paste it in, I should still have pound laying racket at the top. Something you might have uh, you might have also just noticed is that when I scroll with my mouse pad, it's often pretty slow. It'll lag. It's kind of annoying. Uh, I generally recommend. Okay, it'll keep going. I generally kind of recommend that you click on this bar over here to move up and down. Uh, I don't have a good reason for why Doctor Racket is like this, but but it certainly is. Um, so you'll notice when we copy and paste uh, the homework zero text up here that it kind of color codes it for us. Um, anything with a semicolon in front of it is a comment. So this is not real code, or this code is not executed. It's not. It's not code. Anything that comes without a semicolon before it is code. So here it's defining hours is zero. I can show you if I click run, and then I type in hours, it'll give me zero. You'll notice I didn't put in parentheses because this is not a function in the way it's written. Um, but we'll talk about that more in our bracket vocabulary video. Um, you can see every function here is defined for you to write your code in. There's also some output here, which is the test functions. So Dr. Racket or Dr. Slade, I guess, uh, writes these test functions to test the functions that you write in Dr. Racket. We'll go over these more in tackling homework zero. So for now, you should have learned how to put code in Dr. Racket, what the difference between 
the definitions and the terminal or the REPL is, uh, what to use each for, and I say how to save your document, how to save your document. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next.